PCB board used in this project is sponsored by the PCBA company, which is one of the most experienced PCB and PCB assembly manufacturer. They create high quality PCBs at reasonable prices. The Gerber files of the PCB board used in this project can be downloaded from the PCBWay official website. You can find a link in the description. In today's episode, you will learn how to make a word clock using a 10.1 inch HMI TFT LCD display module by the Stone Technologies and a Note MCU ASP8266 Wi-Fi module by the Espressive Systems. This is the smartest word clock. You don't have to enter the hours, minutes and seconds manually and there is also no need to use the RTC real-time clock module. All you need simply select a time zone on your cell phone application designed in plain wait for a minute and the time will be updated. This is the Pakistan's standard time. These are the hours. These are the minutes and seconds. The time is synchronized with the server timing after every one minute due to which you will always get the exact time. If due to some issues the Wi-Fi is disconnected, the word lock won't stop working, the minutes and seconds are incremented automatically and will continue to work. When the Wi-Fi connection becomes active, the word clock is synchronized again with the server time. Let's select a different time zone. I'm going to select New York, America. As you can see the time is updated and now I can keep track of all my favorite TV shows and movies from Pakistan. Now let's check time in Sydney, Australia. This word clock is based on the 24 hours time format due to which we can easily know if it's the daytime or night time. This is my fifth video on the 10.1 inch HMI intelligent TFT LCD module which is entirely based on my previous four tutorials. In tutorial number one I explained how to design a graphical user interface using the images designed in Adobe Photoshop how to use the button function, data variable function, hardware parameter function and how to use the drag adjustment and slider scale functions for controlling the screen brightness. In tutorial number 2 I explain the commands used for reading and writing, how to control the user interface without pressing the on screen buttons, how to access the brightness control register and so on. In tutorial number 3, I explained how to monitor a sensor in real time using Arduino and the HMI touchscreen TFT LCD display module. In this tutorial, I explained in very detail how the Arduino board is interfaced with the HMI TFT LCD module using the MAX232 board. 
While in tutorial number 4, I explained how to make a control panel GUI application for the 10.1 inch HMI Intelligent TFT LCD module. The Arduino was interfaced with the HMI touchscreen for controlling 220 volts AC light bulbs. After watching my previous tutorials, you will be able to design any kind of monitoring and control system. So I highly recommend first to watch my previous tutorials and then you can resume from here. As I'll be using the same hardware connections, except this time I'm using not MCU ESP8266 5M module instead of using the Arduino. I will explain the modified circuit diagram in a minute. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. As you can see, the circuit diagram is really simple. The 10.1 inch TFT LCD and Node MCU ESP8266 5M modules are powered up using a 12 volt adapter or battery. All the grounds are connected together. The DN pin of the TFT LCD module which is a data N is connected with the TX pin of the DB9. The D out pin which is the data out pin is connected with the RX pin of the DB9. The VCC pin of the MAX232 board is connected with the 3.3V pin of the Node MCU module. If you remember while using the Arduino, I connected the VCC pin of the MAX232 board with the 5 volts. As Arduino is a 5 volts microcontroller, while the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module is a 3.3 volts controller. So, while using the MAX232 board with the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module, make sure you connect the VCC pin with the 3.3 volts pin. The ground of the MAX232 is connected with the Node MCU module ground. While the TX and RX pins of the MAX232 board are connected with the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module RX and TX pins. For the easy interfacing, I designed a PCB board for the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. This PCB is manufactured by the PCB company. As you can see, the quality is really great. The sill screen is quite clear and the Blake solder mask looks amazing. I am 100% satisfied with their work. Now I can easily interface the Node MCU ESP8266 5M module with the 10.1 inch HMI Intelligent TFT LCD module. All the connections are done as per the circuit diagram already explained. For more details, read article available on electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. Now let's make the Blink application. The GUI designing steps are exactly the same as explained in the first video. These are the four images which I designed in Adobe Photoshop. As usual, I added the data variable functions for displaying the hours. 
minutes and seconds. The variable memory address of the hours is 0002. The variable memory address of the minutes is 0006. And the variable memory address of the seconds is 0008. For rotating the needles, I use the rotate icon function and use the icons generated by icon generation tool, which I have already explained in the first video. The only thing you need to know is that it needs 720 steps to complete one revolution. And the variable memory addresses of the hour and minute hands, which are 0417 and 0422. We will use this information in the Node MCU programming to control the rotation of the word clock needles. Now let's have a look at the Node MCU programming. All the libraries used in this project can be downloaded from our website electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. This is the authentication token which was sent via email. I simply copied and pasted it over here. This is the name of the Wi-Fi router and this is the password. Then I defined a timer and RDC. These are the high bytes and low bytes memory variable addresses used on the graphical user interface side. I have already explained how these commands work. For the extreme basics, watch my videos on the UART serial communication and sensor monitoring. These are exactly the same except the memory variable addresses which are changed. Then I defined two variables, my minutes and my hours of the type integer. The clock display function is a user defined function which has no return type and does not take any arguments as the input. The purpose of this function is to access the current date and time from the server. The hours, minutes and seconds are accessed from the server using the hour, minute and second functions. As I said earlier, one complete rotation is equal to 720 steps. And as you know, one hour is equal to 60 minutes. So using the MAP function, the minutes are adjusted as per the 720 steps. Is the time from the server is in 24 hours format. So we have to find the AM and PM. So we simply use the F conditions and set the range just like we did it for the minutes. Finally, we store the high bytes and low bytes in their desired memory locations. If in case you find this confusing, watch my previous tutorial on the sensor monitoring. While the rest of the programming is exactly the same. I have been using these instructions in almost all of my IoT based projects. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.